Today I'm going to show you how to use any iPhone 5, 6, 6S battery for iPod Classic. This battery from my iPhone 6S and this is a iPod Classic 7 generation. First, open the iPod, take out the battery and remove the BMS board. I get the BMS board removed from the battery. Alright, listen up. Positive with positive. Try to look at it where the positive and negative is from the battery and the BMS board before you sort it down. Yours may not look like this. I replaced mine years ago um, from a spinning drive to iFlash drive. You using your regular hard drive, this method wouldn't work for you. The OEM drive, spinning drive, basically take all the space in there for this to work. You'll have to change the hard drive to, to this. I put everything together before I glue the body to the frame. Let's see if it take and charge. We are gonna fuck up a party tonight, you just watch. Tonight, my feel I spend some.